On a mission in late November, when we were providing close support for the ground attack, my wingman and I were strafing enemy positions on the edge of a small village near Schmidt, Germany. Suddenly, my radio came alive with a desperate call for air support. An infantry captain identified himself and said his company, about 130 men, was being attacked by a German Tiger tank in this small town. They had no anti-tank weapons, and the tank was coming down the street directly toward them. The American troops were around the corner of a building from the tank, which was less than a block away. I could see the tank clearly. I was carrying two 500-pound bombs, and I told the infantry captain the tank was too close to his men for me to try to bomb it. There was just as good a chance I would hit him and his men as the tank. He begged me to attack. He said they were dead anyway if the tank couldn't be stopped. When I heard that, I told him to disperse his men as much as possible, that I was coming right in. I had my wingman pull up so he could see what happened. If I missed or was shot down, he was to attack the tank. I came in on my dive from lower altitude than normal, so I could clearly see the tank all the way and I made my dive as possible to try to improve my accuracy. I was scared to death I might overshoot and hit our guys. When I released my bombs, I poured the power to my plane to try to get clear of the explosion. But I ended up flying through a big part of the blast and took a lot of damage. I can't describe the great feeling I had when I looked back and saw the German tank on fire and totally out of commission. The infantry captain was on the radio shouting with excitement, and I could see some of his men waving at me. The damage to my plane was serious enough that I had to nurse the plane along, using all my flying skills to keep it in the air. My plane looked something like this when I landed, except that I didn't end up on my nose as this pilot did. <laughs> 